Hello everyone, so today I want to do a quick video about talking avatars or generating a singing avatar. There are a lot of tools like that online and personally I am using four of them recently. The first one is Akul, which is one of my good old friends on this channel. We have talked about this AI tool before, using their face swap feature. Recently they have released a realistic avatar and a talking photo feature. Both features have performed pretty well so far. Any AI-generated image for lip-syncing talking will be a choice. They are very smooth and high quality without any flickering effect. The second one is Hedra. I believe a lot of you guys have seen this service recently. It is booming with a lot of hype and buzz because they launched a talking photo feature for free. I have tried out their talking avatar generator, which basically allows you to input text and upload an image, then click generate. It will do lip syncing for that image, or you can import audio that you already have, and it will just plug and play. As you can see, the movement of the character is kind of okay, but the mouth is sometimes blurred. So yeah, this is free, so maybe there are some limitations. I don't expect very high quality from free stuff. Additionally, the output dimensions are very limited. We cannot customize video dimensions, etc. The other one is Hagen which is very well known for AI-generated lip-syncing avatars. They do a really good job. I know some friends who run AI tools introduction channels, and they use Hagen to create talking avatars that can do something like this. The results are very realistic. For quality, Hagen is really good. Then there is Synthesia, which is very popular. I would say that although Synthesia has been around for a while, Synthesia 2.0 is really good, especially with the recent update. Their characters are not just talking avatars by uploading a photo, it is actually modeling a person into an avatar. You should check out their press release about version 2.0. So, there's always something getting better and better in the AI tech niche, which we have come to expect. Although it's a paid service, both Akul and Hagen are worth it. Personally, I think they perform better than what you get from open source tools downloaded to a local PC. Hopefully, they can run smoothly for commercial or production level projects. Those open source libraries sometimes don't really work at that level yet, because I saw someone's comment before asking about this, and that is my personal opinion. Just use the tools that work. First of all, let's talk about Akul. It is one of the easiest tools that I have used. When I first got into these online tools, it was that easy like really dead easy. I don't think in my video I have to explain how to click a button. So I did one AI music from Suno and brought it to a talking avatar. It's really cool that I generated a voice and music in Suno and applied it to a realistic avatar. This tool is not only for presentation videos. I see a lot of people using this kind of realistic avatar for presentations, but it can be for fun too. So yeah, I want to show you guys and let you check it out. I generated a funny song just for demo purposes. Listen up, got a story to tell About a model named Stable Diffusion Ring a bell They drop SD3, but it ain't the same Generating humans, man, it's a shame Stupidity AI, that's the new name Using open source for profit, what a dirty game Lost their vision, now they're chasing that cash But they models are trash, man, they ain't gonna last Stable Diffusion 3, what a... So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. Whether you want to use free tools or paid tools, that is up to you. But I can say that quality-wise, Akul, Hagen, and Synthesia do a lot better. And there's no doubt about that. So pick one if you are not a technical background person. And I just suggest you don't waste your time setting up open source project in your local computer, trying to download AI models or talking avatar models. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. Have a nice day. See ya.